I awoke to the sounds of Lily's gentle snores as they drifted across the bedroom rock. She was still fast asleep, and I needed to keep it that way, or suffer the consequences. Creaky floorboards meant that the simple act of getting dressed would require a little ingenuity. Morning, Mabel. Lily made a fish and marmalade sandwich for me the day before. I didn't have the heart to refuse, but I wasn't about to eat it. <coughs> I'd freed my sweater from Lily's clutches, but it was still out of reach. I'll be able to get the trajectory right. <coughs> Boots, check. <coughs> that was my chance to sneak out of there. I decided I'd cycle to the nearby town. Maybe I'd find someone willing to hire me. Maybe I'd find someone who knew where my dad had gone. But first, I had a few things to take care of. I picked up the jug. I'd need water to make Lily's breakfast. Dad's compactable footstool sounded like a great idea. I wasn't sure why I hadn't taken off. The pump handle had snapped, leaving only a small section of it protruding from the pump. It was going to take something heavy to force it down. Like the pitchfork had fallen from its resting place. Another impressive feat of engineering. Well, well, well. Lights? Huh, it's a package from my father. Arthur, this is the last of the small crystals. I hope this was worth giving up your job for. I'm still finding the whole notion difficult to believe. I'm tempted to make a trip to your home to see it with my own eyes. But the fact that you keep the generator in your bedroom is quite unsettling, to say the least. If what you say about the lesser crystals is true, then I fear what may happen when this company begins experimenting on the large ones. 
It's still safe for now, but I don't think it'll be possible to smuggle it out of here without anyone noticing. Given the apparent results of your own experiments, it's possible they'll listen to your warning. However, it's more likely they'll see nothing other than the potential for profit. For now, I'll do my best to impede their research. Stay safe, my friend. Nina. The strange crystal is obviously important to my father. I couldn't help but wonder if it had anything to do with him going missing. I decided to do a little snooping around. really stop to think where my dad got the mask or why he wanted it. I'm pretty sure I could put it to good use though. Dad made his own generator to power his workshop. As with his other inventions, he just refused to explain how it worked. It looks like there is something missing, but I haven't figured out what. There, that should keep it cool. Let's see. Hmm, it fits. Huh? It's glowing. Whatever I did, Cause the machine in the back garden to power up. or that it was simply as reliable as a stepladder. It was one of the puzzle boxes my father often made for Lily. I wasn't sure why he hadn't given her this one, but I knew she'd be happy to have it. I wanted to give Lily the puzzle box I had found, but she was still asleep. Uh, Lily, those... When in doubt, dance it out mean anything to you? Right. The secret dance routine turned out to be the solution for the combination lock. Inside the box there is a small key where the tasty treat should have been.
Look, Dougal, everything's laid out already. I should just make it myself. It's porridge. What could go wrong? Big old bag of oats. Prepare to be eaten. Hey, wait a minute. It's empty! <coughs> okay, I can fix this. All I need is a fresh bag of oats, a new bowl, and then clay to pot over the fire. This is easy peasy. What was Dad worried about? Dougal, attack that string. Hey, Dougal, I think someone's at the door, boy. I heard I did it all by myself. Hang on. Where is Dad? Uh oh. For a moment, I wondered where I was. Then I noticed everything was different. I was different, but it was when I thought of Lily that it no longer mattered why. I couldn't let her think that she had lost someone else. Somebody had left their belongings on the floor of the strange room. After glancing over the items, I realized some of them belonged to my dad. So, this was where he was. It was unusual to see Dad without his hat, and vice versa. Again, it was noticeably warmer than normal. I decided to take it with me. A glass jar had been left next to the other belongings, emitting a faint white light. Assuming unusual objects to be important seemed like the proper rule of thumb, so I picked it up. Placing the jar into the left socket had restored basic power to the lab. enough power to distribute to the door lid. It took a large amount of power to get me here. Logic dictated that it would take something similar to get me home. I was going to have to venture outside to find it. And in the back of my mind, I hoped that I might find my father along the way. to town without telling us. Oh well, time to go to work. I took the stretchy rope from the tractor. Every adventurer needs rope. Would 
been proud of my giant slingshot. I wasn't strong enough to pull myself back. We haven't missed any customers. Dad says we're running out of money. He's doing his best to find a job. He's probably gone to town for that exact reason. So until then, we've got to do our best to help out. Hey, Breeze! You didn't pay for that! Good thing wings can't ride bikes. Wait, if Dad's bike is still here, where's he been all morning? I had a bad feeling, and I was pretty sure it had nothing to do with the park. Kia! With Gnome out of the way, I was free to start looking for Dad. It felt like a dream. I was being led down a path, and, short of curling up into a ball, I was helpless to do anything about it. I considered going back inside and just waiting for someone to find me, but I knew that if I wanted to get back to Lily soon, I'd have to find the source of power for the machine that brought me here, and I wasn't coming back until I found it. <gasps> Like the blue lamp also acted as a door. Come on, Sir Fuzzlepuff. I'm on a new. Speed, Sir Fuzzlepuff. Whoa! He's gone. Of all the souls I have encountered in my travels, his was the most bloody. Dougal, this must be where everyone went. What if something happened? I need to. 
As I wandered deeper into the swamp, I began to feel uneasy. From the gnarled and twisted branches of bizarre trees to the clamor of unrecognizable creatures filling the air, it was clear I was a long way from home. Wait to see what Dad looked like. <laughs> My apologies. I don't see many like you. Who... who are you? Mer... Mer... No, just Mer. I'm not sure where I am. Can you help me get home? Maybe help each other? Come, sit. long ago. They had machines, kept us warm, safe. Now I am alone, and the machines not
not work. Well, I'll take a look, but if I do, will you help me get home? By fixing the machine, you return home. So it's the same generator that powers the lab. Okay, show me. Follow. Next to Mare's toolbox was a single peculiar glove. What is this? Careful. Right. Right. The crystal hidden behind the wall looks similar to the one I had seen earlier that day. screwdriver from the overturned toolbox. There's a large bulbous plant blocking a pipe at the top of the stairs. It felt like it was full of water. In one corner of the room were several flowers laid out in a grid pattern. There was something familiar about it. Hey, I think that worked. Hey, what are you doing?
to get out of here. No, no, no! Uh, can I help you? My name is Nina. I'm a friend of your father's. I... I've been out here for a while thinking about how to say this in a way that you believe me, but then... But then, about a minute ago, I heard that sound. You've been there, haven't you? To Clanfira. Yes, and I need to get back there. My- You mustn't go back there! It's dangerous! Your father! He was killed! I'm so sorry! He, he, what? Lily! Lily's there! In Clanfira! You have to help me bring her home, please! Oh my god! Come with me! We need to get to my lab! Hurry! Then he spat me out. He's probably not used to his food poking him with a sword. And then I saw you. Although, you already knew that bit. You're a good listener, like Dougal. Hey, what's your name, by the way? Mm, well, you're like a big bug, so I'm gonna call you Bugsy, okay? So, will you help me find my family? Okay, first, let's get out of here. Might be able to climb this. Ooh. Or not. Hey, Bugsy, give me a boost. Just use the doggy door this whole time? Come on then. have gone into one of these flowers.
Wait here. I'll be right back. Okay, I don't have any more crystals of the type Arthur used, but I have this. Wait, why can't we just use that with my father's machine? Because we don't want to blow up the whole countryside. I'll explain when we get to my lab. I'm hoping that I'll be able to send you the Clinthira from here, but they're not going to just let me bring someone into the building. You should be able to sneak in through the side entrance. Just make sure no one sees you. I'll go on ahead and get started. See you soon. Hang on, Lily. I'm on the way. Ah. Somebody had hidden the key underneath the flower pot. The door was locked. Of course it was. <laughs> the door only stayed open for a moment before swinging shut behind the cat. I was gonna have to find another way in. I'm usually a stickler for avoiding fire hazards, but this was for the greater good. A new psychic had left me with a way in. I'd made it into the canteen. The worker was still there, facing towards the lift. <sighs> standing on a narrow ledge above a hydroelectric dam, I wouldn't have gone out of bed that morning. Ah! Whoa, whoa. It wasn't going to help me fly, but I figured I could use it for something. you are. What took you so long? What? Never mind. I need your help with something. I'm almost ready to go here, but I need something else for this to work. A cavity magnetron should do the trick. The easiest one to get is probably from the microwave, microwave oven, upstairs. oven upstairs. I'll finish up here. Let me know when you've got it.
The microwave oven was in use, but I didn't have time to wait. At least there's no sign of the bird this time. Great, thank you. This will just take a moment. All right, I followed your father's design as closely as I could. Put this on. Now, this crystal is different from the others, much more powerful. With the lesser crystals, you need to find a place where the fabric of our reality is already weakened. But with this, we should be able to tear open a new gateway right here. Thanks. Aim that way. Aiden, be careful. Give me that. There you are. What are you doing here? Come on, we have to get... Lily? I thought I lost you too. Maybe it's not too late to say bye, Dad. Dad! Granddad! You're okay! What? Mommy? What? No! 
What are you doing here? Are you okay? I was so worried. I was looking for you and Grandad. Lily, Grandad. I know. Can we go home now? Wait, Mur. He stole the glow. We needed to get home. Come on, quick. We can't get stuck in this place. Mur, wait. No more waiting. This time, I go! Thanks for undoing his efforts. <laughs> I've got to do something! Hey, this must be Grandad's glove!
Okay, you big monster. You owe me. I don't have to be alone anymore. I awoke to the sounds of Lily's gentle snores as they drifted across the bedroom rug. She was still fast asleep and I needed to keep it that way, or suffer the consequences. Creaky floorboards meant that the simple act of getting dressed would require a little ingenuity. 